Hi, Mom. You're probably the only person watching my first vlog, but here we go. We're here now in Dublin, or I'm here in Dublin Airport, about to head off to the Spoga Trade Show, which is in Germany in a lovely city called Cologne. Spoga is the biggest, one of the biggest trade shows for the equestrian industry. So it has all your brands, has all your suppliers, everything you can think of equestrian product wise is in this trade show and has all your marketing, all business services, everything um, happens there. So this vlog is going to basically be behind the scenes of Epic Management, a marketing agency based predominantly in the equine world, but also serves in other um, brands and businesses too. Um, I have some travel tips that um, I'll go through. Please note this is not a beauty blog or a style blog <laughs> vlog because we have none of that. Well, I certainly have none of that. It's all going to be about kind of business, marketing and uh, survival tips with um, traveling around the world. I've done quite a bit of traveling. Um, I'm 30 at the moment and I've been through every awful travel situation you can possibly think of. So if I can share some kind of knowledge and tips to save anyone from any of that trauma, I will. Um, my first top tip would be, or my top things that I take with me um, are passport, wallet, battery pack, phone and laptop. They're the five things that um, I need and then everything else you can pick up along the way. Last tip for Dublin Airport, um, if you're flying in or out of Dublin Airport and are driving, is that in T2, if you're flying at that terminal, I always park at, I think it's level three or four. On that level, you can park and run straight in and out to your um, gate. And in T1, you park in either A is fine or C, which if you can get the surface car park, which I'm in now, and I'll just show you <laughs> what I've done. It also, you can, you can when you're here, you can run straight in and out of um, the terminal. But I've actually moved the trolleys out of, um, out of my, out of like where they live. So, because it was so busy. So I've kind of created my own VIP car park. So yeah, that's just another little tip that um, helps. Even though I wish I kind of maybe didn't say that because now everyone's going to take my little VIP spot. <laughs> but um, things like that definitely help. Um, so hope you enjoy the vlog and um, hopefully pick up a couple of tips or, or whatnot um, from it. Um, and if not, um, just turn off now. <laughs> Hi folks, I have some tips for looking for sponsorship if you're a rider and I'll just give you three for now. There's some fantastic products here at um, the Spoko Horse Show. You'll see some of them flash up. So my top tips is do not mail them private mail or direct mail them on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Number two is to represent, go and buy some of their actual products and tag them and use them like be a real you know fan of their brand 
don't just go okay email everybody some people actually put the emails together that you know that they're sending out as basically bulk emails to every brand and brands can see straight through that so don't do that and three start building your instagram and facebook start taking pictures go get some nice pictures go to the photographer and buy some jumping pictures and actually use them and start building your own profile online So that's it, vlog complete or my trip is complete. Home from Spoga, it was a great show. As you could see, loads of lovely brands and products and some fabulous new clothing coming out for 2019 and some nice boots and whatnot. Um, I'm sure you've seen those Aria boots are absolutely to die for. I have one last travel tip, which is on the way home, I was getting a um, plane train into Spoga because it's right beside the train station, like three stops. And of course, could not find the platform home. I got there, no problem, but couldn't find the platform home. So I met an old colleague of mine, Ashley, at the airport, and she informed me that she uses Google Maps whenever she's at train stations or anything, and it tells her what platform and everything. Like I use Google Maps all the time, but never thought to use it in the train station. So that's a really good one. Um, I hope you enjoyed a couple of the tips there. Hopefully they'll help you and be a bit informative if anything and um, follow the tips on sponsorship on how to start building your profile. Also, next time I might do um, a segment on brands and how you can start making your writers work for you and try and get the best out of the writers that you already do sponsor. Um, so everyone has to market themselves essentially. So thanks for watching and um, possibly might need to put subtitles on because when I was at the trade show, everyone was asking me to talk slower. So I shall practice that. Thanks guys.